<laughs> Get out of my video. I'm super salty now. Hi guys, today we're looking at something that all of us eat every day, something called salt. So it was one year ago at this course where we did a little experiment with the microscope. So we poured in sea salt into liquid, dissolved it and poured it through a filter and out came very surprising results. So let's also try this experiment today. I'm gonna open up the sea salt. I rinsed this container pretty well already. There we go. We've filled it up now like one quarter. Now I'm gonna get some water and uh, mix it up. 20 minutes later. Yep, with the water fountain here. One eternity later. Okay, this is now pretty concentrated water. You're really used to doing this, huh? I'm, <laughs> I never did this before. I got here highly advanced cotton pad. I just want to show you the, the clean version, okay? So we're here now on the lowest magnification. Yeah, I'm jumping around here. There's not much going on. It's pretty clean. So what we do now, we take this clean filter, just let all the liquid just flow through. So the last bit, there we go. And we got our uh, pad here. So now everything's through and you can see here, I've got some not dissolved sea salt on top, quite brown in the middle, but really particles of fibers you don't really see. A huge thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. I learned science much better through storytelling and interactive challenges. You know, learning by doing. On Brilliant, you get to do that by engaging in the subject you are learning through a hands-on approach with visual examples which you can manipulate and observe. Sign up for free with the link below brilliant.org slash small turns big and start enjoying learning science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The first 200 signups get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So let's check it out under the microscope. We got our filter here and we can see the salt crystals pretty clearly. We move around, we can see one particle here already. There are also a little black spots. <laughs> okay, let's, let's just zoom in. Now you can see this black spot it could be algae actually this is what they told us in the course sometimes this residue of algae is flowing around in the ocean and this is also scooped up and evaporated on the fields then if we just move a bit here to the side here you can see already very small fibers you see this one here that's crazy Nick right next to it also some browns on black spot these are very small let me show you how big this uh, fiber looks like in comparison to my tool that I used before so let me zoom out here uh, so you can see my tooltip here and all the fibers are so small I can hardly almost see them because they're so narrow. Are these particles dangerous? So that's a big issue. Uh, what does microplastic do and does it have any health issues? So that's a really ongoing discussion, let's say. Leave a comment down below what you think about microplastic. So th these uh, are very big fibers again. This, this one fiber is now covering the whole screen base or the half the screen. <laughs> it's ridiculous and this was found inside of the salt so microplastic is just everywhere we cannot escape from it it's in our food in our production so there will be a video coming about exactly this what's flowing in our air and what we breathe in stay tuned for that i'll link it up here when it's live oh look ice cubes we found some ice cubes again let's hope uh, mr cube is not so uh, mad yet let's hope he's not salty so let's wrap things up here. I think you can now clearly see the difference between the cotton pad before and after uh, we rinsed it or drained it with the sea salt. It's quite safe to say there are quite a bunch of particles in the sea salt. So every time you eat something now and have some salt, you can think about this video. Forward it to some of your friends. Don't be so salty. Subscribe now. And I'll see you in the next video.